Haley O'Dell. Good morning, Haley. Good morning. Haley, your child's are going through a ventilator on Waterman and Gano. Do you remember this? Um, I was actually working at the time. Where do you work? Uh, the Whiskey Republic on the weekends. Where? The Whiskey Republic on the weekends. Uh -huh. What do you do? I bartend. How are the tips? They're okay. Real good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. Yeah. Okay, now you've already established the fact that you can afford to pay. <laughs> You're supposed to say they're terrible. <laughs> they're okay. You know, they're really not. <laughs> You know, I'm I, only working there because my day job doesn't. You're supposed to say the tips are so bad, I try so hard, <laughs> nobody's leaving tips, I have no money, Judge. Yeah. But already you've established you can pay. Mm. I know, right? Sure. You can pay. Well, <laughs> trying to get in a, a new place. My roommate's pregnant, so I have to move out, so I'm trying to save every bet. Oh, she's pushing you out. Yeah, <laughs> get the boot. This is Summers number 174-096. The light is red already. Well, you made a right turn. I wasn't actually driving. I was working, too. That must have been valet. They have um, access to our keys. I'm having trouble with this one. <clears throat> Marissa, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. I never do this. I never hug girls that come up here because it's terrible, right? I can't even kiss them like that, right? <laughs> now, why do you think I'm doing that? Hmm? Why do you think I'm doing that? Is she your daughter? She's my daughter, right. And she drives your car. Right. <laughs> Lovely, charming Marissa, my only daughter. So you know she's very special, right? Now, Marissa, you saw the video, right? No. You didn't see it? I was in the corner over there. Oh, we're going to look at it, okay? And she said she wasn't... She said she wasn't driving. She said it was the valet that was driving. So we're going to look at it, and you're going to help me out, okay? Okay, the car made a right-hand turn, Marissa, and it appears that there's a sign after the intersection saying you can't make a right-hand turn. But she said she wasn't driving it, and she's being evicted because uh, her girlfriend is pregnant. So she's going to undergo some financial hardship, and she's tending bar nights only because she's not making enough money during the daytime. So what do you think I should do? Dismiss it. Dismiss it. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> if it was the ballet, then. Oh, I see. On that basis. Okay. And, and also, her, she's going through some financial hardship, so. So your heart goes out to her. Yeah. Where'd you get that kind of sen sensitivity, Marissa? Is that <laughs> part of your bringing up? Where'd you get that? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Did well, you get that from mom? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marissa. Holding the big gun, sir. <laughs> well, Inspector Quinn, what do you think? You're not going to overrule my daughter, are you? Of course, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a judgment I would have made as That's well. The matter is dismissed. One of the ones Thank you. Good course. luck. Have a good night. Many people assume that I'm the compassionate Caprio, but the truth is that title belongs to my daughter, Marissa. She has a long and colorful history of helping others, including the time a Boston department store hired her to help shoppers apply for Insta credit loans. The requirements were very stringent. It broke her heart when she had to tell people that their applications had been rejected. So she began coaching the shoppers on how to successfully fill out their applications. Suddenly, everyone was getting approved and the company was delighted until it came time to collect payment. They eventually caught on, but not before Marissa earned the nickname my instant credit. Nishara Newkirk. How are you? Good morning. Okay, Nishara, you have, uh, let's see, you have one, two, three, four, five. You have six parking tickets. And these are all on a Hyundai. You have a Hyundai? I'm sorry. Do Hyundai. I have a hundred? No, I said you have a Hyundai vehicle. Oh, Hyundai, yes. Okay. What did you <laughs> think I said? What did you think I, I said? said? Do I have a hundred? I'm oh. like a hundred dollars. <laughs> Do you have a hundred? You might have more. No. No. <laughs> you got five hundred? I wish. Oh. If we gave a a, 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 a an award for best personality, so far best personality <laughs> is Lashara today. <laughs> Thank you. She's been having a good time in the court. I caught her smiling and laughing a little bit yeah. in the back. 
We're going to find out if she keeps laughing after I find her. <laughs> we're, going to ch we're going to check her personality then. <laughs> so these are all expired meters. Is there anything you want to tell me about these? Yes. So I work at the Providence G Pub downtown, and I'm like the lean, um, the lead line cook. So around 12, I always got the tickets because I'll, by the time I come out, it'll be we'll get a rush, and I can't get off the line until like, and then the parking lady will be there. I brought a little evidence to show that I pay like a lot, like when I park, and I try to explain that to her too. Mashara, Mashara, I I have your record. I know you paid 15 tickets already. Okay. Oh well, these are just the parking meter things that I want to show you. Oh. I pay like I park there all the time, so that's just okay. to show that. You have to speak into the mic. Oh, that's just to show that I do pay like the parking meter. Oh, I, so I save you. Them all. What you, what you were tr attempting to show me were receipts. Yes. From the multi-space meter. Yes. And that you put money in the in the multi-space meter, and so you have the receipts, right? Yes. So you're trying to show me that you are a law-abiding parking person. That is correct. <laughs> that's a new one, right? Law-abiding parking person. Law-abiding parking person. Get some shirts made for that, Judge. See, you inspired me to say something. Oh, thank you. Now, why don't you explain to people who don't know what a line cook is, what a line cook is. Well, I prep the food, I cook the food, and I send it out, and, you know, I make everyone happy. And so, that makes me happy. So you're in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. Yeah, so you don't get the tips. So the, waiters, the waitresses get the tips, no. right? No, but I get the other part. I get to go out and see everybody eating and enjoying yeah. themselves, and that's good enough for me. You get the satisfaction yes. of making people happy and feeding them, feeding them well. Yes. What's the best thing that you make? I make a good steak. You do? Mm hmm All right, so we know that if we need a good steak, we go down. <laughs> we should go down, Inspector Quinn. We'll split a steak. You can pay three quarters. I'll pay a quarter. Fair enough. Because I'm only going to eat a little bit. <laughs> I'll bring Joe because he picks up the tab. Yeah, yeah, he picks and it up and hands it to you. He picks it, he picks, it. He, picks it, he, he picks it up and hands it to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Inspector Quinn, here we have uh, Lashara. She works hard. She's on the line. Right? She can't get out of the kitchen. Most of these tickets are around noontime. She can't get out. And she has displayed a number of uh, parking receipts. So she does attempt to... Uh, to pay your tickets. So she has one, two, three, four, five. She has six tickets, and they're all $25 tickets. So the original fine is 150 but they have all tripled. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to charge you $75 for the tickets. Okay. What's a, what's a Federal Hill steak? Mm. Spaghetti and meatballs. Fair enough. <laughs> 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 good luck to you. Thank you. Have All a good right. day. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.